I guess starting from the beginning, um, what brought you to Western Kentucky and uh, you know, what do you think you bring to the table here? Yeah, really a lot of things went into it. Um, one, Coach Helton, I really you know vibed with him and believed in what he was doing. Uh, two, Coach Arbuckle, I've known him for a very long time, probably since I was like in seventh grade. Him from being Canadian, I had a couple friends that lived there that were really close to me. Um, they had a lot of returning starters coming back and um, just the standard set at quarterback. I wanted to be a part of that. Um, try to throw for a lot of yards. You know, uh, Big 12 is you know, considered a very offensive heavy, uh, you know, conference. And you, know, you come here, they set a lot of records, you know, last year. You know, is there like a different type of like tempo or different type of like style that, you know, is, well, I guess, different from, you know, Big 12 football to, you know, Western Kentucky football? Yeah, so the offense I was playing in is very, I would say, similar to the what we're doing here. But I feel like here we do use a lot more tempo than we did at West Virginia. So I'm excited about that. Um, other than just football, I think football is football. Um, and I, these, these defensive guys are flying around just as like uh, the Big 12 guys are. Jared, I mean, uh, you probably weren't able to watch a lot, but Philly Zappi just had a ridiculous year last year right here. Uh, have you gotten to work with him at all? And, and what do you have to say about, you know, filling in potentially for his shoes? Yeah, I've seen him a couple times over the last few days and um, asked him a few questions here and there. Um, but yeah, he set the standard here. Um, and I'm not really here to break his record, so I'm gonna try. Um, but I'm here to win football games and do what I can do uh, to win the game, to win games for the team here. Yeah, just kind of going off of that, can you just kind of talk more, you know, just about the you know journey coming here, you know, just after the season they had last last season, how important it is to you just as a player, just to, you know, to be here at, at Western Kentucky? Yeah, I mean, I think they just set the standard last year, and uh, I don't think we stopped there. I think we try to go do more this year and go win a conference championship. And that's what you know, we're trying to do. Guys you can learn from that have been in the system, guys that haven't been in the system that are growing with you and you can ask bounce questions off of an experienced guy or an inexperienced guy in the offense. Um, but yeah, they, it's a ton of competition in that room, um, a lot of laughs, a lot of competition. So, you know, I'm excited to be a part of it. Jared, I know that there's a local guy, Caden Belkamp. Have you ever talked to him a little bit? And what, what are your impressions about him? Yeah, I like Caden because he's, he's really eager to learn. So everything I do, he's kind of like on my hip pocket. Um, and he's always trying to compete and, you know, beat me and stuff. And, you know, he's really athletic. And I think he has a bright future here. You know, like, chemistry between wide receivers and quarterbacks, uh, you know, it's very important. You know, you come in this is your first year at Western, only practice a couple of practices. And there's been some turnover on the receiver side. You know, how is that chemistry, you know, coming along in such a short time? Yeah, it's been really good because really on their part, they've accepted me, really. Um, and then just trying to throw with them as much as I can, trying to get that timing down, build relationships with them, hang with them uh, off the field. And, you know, it's been a pretty easy transition because they've been so open and um, brought me in with them. You know, for anybody that hasn't seen you, how would you describe your style you know, coming from yourself? Yeah, I would just be, you know, a decision maker that, you know, kind of like a gunslinger type kind of guy. Um, I just make really good decisions, stand in the pocket and deliver. That's really all I do. You know, looking at those guys protecting the O-line, three starters gone from last year's team, you know, Rusty, Kickback. Uh, you know, what do you think about that group and how have you connected with them so far? Yeah, I've probably built the best relationships I've built here, like very quick with the O-line. So basically with Rusty, I just hung out with him and Gunner a lot and got to know the O-line and, you know, they're a good group and I'm excited to see what they do this year.